welcome back to Diamond's Reading Time. I'm make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bells and give this video a huge thumbs up. I know none of you knew what I said, but I said subscribe, give this video a huge thumbs up, and click the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook too. Yay! The fun continues on Instagram and Facebook. Ducks in a row. Today we're reading Ducks in a Row. Max sat down. He put up his feet. He leaned back on his chair. Oh yes, he said. It's nice to relax. Max looked around. Roddy was bringing the newspaper. Our Doc Tok was wearing Lynn's feet. Babe was singing the kittens to sleep. Everyone had something to do except him. Max said what to do around here. Sometimes he baked snacks, but wondered off but wondered if everyone liked them. Does anyone need me to do anything? Max asked. No one answered. Just then, the doorbell rang. I'll get it, yelled Max. On the, st on the steps stood three pump plump ducks in a row. Aunt Pat, Aunt Dot, Aunt Flu, said Max. Max, could you take my bag, said Aunt Pat, and my bottle, said Aunt Dot, and my box, said Aunt Flu. Of course, said Max. Max's aunt told everyone they were on their way to South. They had to stop and visit until the first snowfall. The aunt sat down on the couch. Max, could you make some tea? Said Aunt Pat. With toast? Toast, said Aunt Dot. And jam? Said Aunt Flu. Max set to work. It felt good to be needed. Lucky for Max, his aunt needed him in quiet a bit. They needed him to bring their books and find their glasses. They needed him to turn on their lamps. They needed him to to run their baths, to, fl to fluff their pillows, and close the curtains. By the end of the day, Max was a little tired, but still felt good to be needed. The next morning, st start started early. Max could would you open this jar, said Aunt Pat. 
and untangle this yarn so I don't dot and fix this toaster so I don't flu. Turn on the TV, pop some popcorn, change the channel, shuffle the cards, roll the dice, keep the score, pick the pumpkin, pick the apple, pick some flowers. Oh goodness. They're asking him to do way too many stuff. Max went out to the garden. He wasn't sure how much more being needed could take. He felt something, a snowflake, the first snow will fall, all he said. Now, uh, now his aunts will leave. The very next day, they, the very next day, Max said goodbye to Aunt Pat, Aunt Dot, and Aunt Flu. He was so tired, he could hardly wave. <laughs> Funny. Max sat down. He put up his feet. He learned, learned back his chair. Oh, yes, he said. It's nice to relax. Then he heard... Earned voice. Max, could you? Oh no, thought Max. You use a blanket? said Ernst. Max nodded. And fell asleep fast. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story, everyone. Bye.